It's Booty Quake here from Roller Derby Athletics, and today I'm going to show you how to build your own slosh pipe. A slosh pipe is a really low-tech but very effective tool to help you train your stability, which is important for trying to prevent injuries. So I'm going to show you how we can do this with very simple ingredients from your local hardware store, and it only takes a few minutes. What makes the slosh pipe work is the slosh. So we're going to fill this pipe with water, we're going to cap it at both ends, and then when you hold it to do your different stability and balance exercises, if it goes a little bit off center, off balance, then the effect of the slosh is the water will shoot down to one end of the pipe, create a dynamic load, and challenge your stabilizers. So here's your ingredients list to start with. So this is ABS piping, but you can use PVC as well, no problem. Whatever they've got at your local store, whatever works. I picked this one because it was already cut to six feet long in the store, so then I didn't have to mess around. You are going to need a cap piece, which I've already installed on this one, and you're going to need some other fittings as well. This one is really important. It's a threaded connection, so if you can see, uh, one end actually kind of screws into the other and that's going to allow us to adjust the amount of water we have in our pipe later so we'll come back to that. Depending on the fittings that you have at your local store you might also need this piece which is just a coupling and so that's going to allow me to attach the threaded connection like this to the end of my tube. You need a little bit of sandpaper. This is just 150 grit, it's just medium garden variety sandpaper, nothing special. And you'll need cement. So make sure that you pick the right cement for the type of pipe that you have purchased. And of course, finally, you're gonna need water. And you do not need to use fresh, pure spring water for this unless you are really, really frou-frou. You can just use tap water. But I'll show you why I'm using a four liter bottle of water when we get there. Okay, so we're going to get started building our slosh pipe, and the first thing that you need to do is just use a piece of your sandpaper to rough up all the edges that you're going to glue together. So both sides, both pieces. So I'm just going to give this a little go. And I have to do the same thing for the coupling. And for this guy too. Okay, the next step is the glue. Comes with its own handy little beautiful paintbrush. And you need to coat, again, both sides of what you're fastening. So we're gonna put a liberal amount of this cement on both the pipe and the coupling. And uh, definitely take lots of nice, deep, fresh breaths while you do this. Highly recommended. Okay, then when you're ready, I'm just gonna stuff this guy on all the way as far as it will go. Give it about a quarter turn. And then just hold it into place for about 10 seconds. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side of this fitting. Now, the reason I'm using a four liter jug of water from the store to fill this pipe is not because I need glacial fresh spring water inside my slosh pipe, no. Uh, it is because I can measure the weight of what I'm putting in the pipe using liters. So every liter is one kilogram and one kilogram is 2.2 pounds. It's important to know that you can only fill the pipe about 50 to 60% full. If you overfill it, you won't get the sloshing effect of the water, right? Because it'll be too full. It won't um, change the loading enough if you have too much water. And without further ado. There you go, and there's my adjustable end, and now I can uh, add or remove water later as needed. And that's it, you've got your very own slosh pipe. Use it to do a whole bunch of stability exercises, 
and make yourself be even more awesome on the track. I'm Booty Quake. This is your slosh pipe. See you next time. Bum, 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 bum.